Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. You may have seen in our last episode, we explored some of the dynamics of how glass behaves under the stress of a bullet. Uh, we looked at plate glass, tempered glass. We're gonna be exploring it a little bit deeper with a car. As you can see, we've got some ballistic analog people here and we're gonna shoot at them through the side windows and the windshield. We're gonna look at what happens to the bullet, how does it deflect, if the glass falling and that clump of bullet that's still left over is that lethal. We pretty well just picked some, your most common handguns and rifles. We have nine millimeter Glock, a 223 Wild AR, and then we got a 762 by 51 so that we get that uh, 308 family. It's kind of like the popular okay. sniper rifle platform. This could be useful for some research purposes. It's also good for first responders to know like what they're gonna find in the scene right. of a car when they get there, you know. Some of those glass shards could be carrying potentially supersonic speeds. We have no idea. About to find out though. Yep, so we'll get it loaded up and I think we're gonna start with side windows first so we can get some clear footage and yep. then we'll start shooting the windshield. Let's do it. Cool. So we got a little booster seat here so that we can use just a bust. He might be a little bit of a short guy, but he's just going down the road. I'll take a nice shot, probably right at his temple. That way if it deflects, we'll have a pretty big diameter zone to see how much it moved off. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to cleaning all this blood out of the car. It's for you guys. <laughs> you doing a countdown or just going for it? I was just gonna go for it. Okay. All right. For some reason, I expected him to fall over. Well, before we get in there, let's try to do this safely. Maybe we can come <laughs> set him on the hood. Oh God. <laughs> it's got that nice tempered glass crackling still going on. Is that a bullet hole? That is indeed. Very cool. Okay, so it doesn't deflect enough to immediately miss. The other question is, did it go through? Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, we broke his, broke his whole skull. Right through his, oh, what yeah. is that, like zygomatic or something like that? So that bullet must have not deflected very much at all. Oh, his skull cracked all the way up and over. Okay. Cool. Well, that's about all we're gonna see uh, with the naked eye. Yeah. Let's go see it in some high speed. For sure. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It splits out so fast. That glass falling is the same velocity as the bullet. There it goes. Oh, that's Almost like equal bullet. pieces came out of both sides. Oh, <laughs> its whole face just it broke off. detached it. Do you think that went down to like the upper part of the jaw? His whole front face I section bet. just popped off? Wow. Okay. Still less chaotic than I was anticipating. You can tell it's kind of tumbling a little bit. Like it's kind of broken apart, but it's pretty much all intact. I didn't expect the glass falling to match the velocity of the bullet. Yeah. I thought it would just kind of trail behind it, but it's- Going Right along with it. It's exactly the same. That's cool. That's a cool shot though. Yeah. All right, on you. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, he's done. There's a blood pack. He's done. <laughs> I can hear it still cracking out. Yeah. Oh, bones came out and some blood. Almost perfect on your tarp placement. I know. <laughs> so this almost behaved like it was laminated. It holds together really well. Yeah. Watch it all fall anyways. Oh. A duty chop. Nice. Oh yeah. You think he died? It's bad. Where, where did you hit him? Like the nose? Yeah, like right at the bridge of the nose. Yikes. There. Oh, that is. It's just mush. Oh, oh. I, I know where I hit him. One of those heartbeat things. Looks like some of his flesh and blood splattered all over the windshield too. It's a good thing we're shooting that soon. I was complaining about cleaning the blood up out of the car and then here I am spurting it everywhere. What? No exit? No pass through. So the it slowed it down just enough to get it lodged. Oh. Well, it's in here somewhere. Just punch it really hard once. Oh, <laughs> thank God I was over here. <laughs> I want my bullet back. Where is it? I don't know. Just air bubbles. Yeah, okay. We might have to check high speed. Yeah. See if it tumbled out somewhere. What a sight, dude. 
in the name of science? In the name of high speed? High speed, there we go. Look at this, just vomit all over the windshield. God, wow. Your face got hit so hard in one point that it just splashed radially. Look at the, the like stream that goes down. That is weird because the window curves up some. So I'm wondering if the point of impact sends like a perpendicular jet of which is glass. Probably. So if we get a jet of glass going like that, I think it's safe to assume the you would bullet. get a little deflection yeah. in the opposite way. It's no wonder that the bullet didn't escape because if it did break in half and it was all weirdly open, it would have slowed down really fast. I mean, we saw in the video before this, tempered glass doesn't slow down bullets a whole lot. Right. But I'm curious what laminated glass is gonna do, because that has another layer to it. Right. Where that actually physically holds the glass should it break. Yeah. The windshield curves a lot steeper too. Right. Let's get a full torso for this one, yeah. I think. Yep, that way we have a wide berth of deflection yeah. zone. So we've uh, put a little spacer underneath his seat, because he's kind of Lieutenant Dannon, and if you were sitting in a seat, we would be on our ass, but he doesn't have one. So we're gonna get him propped up. So hopefully he looks about like a normal dude would. And we went with a full torso. So I'm gonna aim oh, yeah. mid sternum or maybe right there at the diaphragm-ish area. And then if we get deflection down, we've got the whole belly to catch it. And if we get deflection up, we got the whole chest, neck. All right, well, we're gonna pop a nine mil through this windshield and see what this laminated window can do. Okay, high speed ready. Go. Ooh. Oh. The blood splatter on the windshield. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Does it look oblong to you? Like it? Yeah. Like maybe it ramped while it was going in there? Oh my gosh, you couldn't have done a more perfect throat shot. I think it's like right in that jugular notch area. Oh. There's oh. A piece down in his chest, too. Two holes. It split the bullet in half? Because I was aiming like here. And so it hit above and below. These bullets are not deflecting nearly as much as I thought they were. No. Is that glass fragments that smashed into the dash and ate it up? Lethal though? In oh the, yeah. In the throat like that? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so it depends how deep it went. Because eventually, yeah. you know, like your spinal cord's back That'll here. That'll get severed. And... Okay. Let's go see what happened to that bullet. That's got to be some <laughs> cool high speed though. Yeah, let's go check it out. Oh yeah, tons of fragments. Yep. So that main fastest chunk is what went way back into his throat. Right. Then you can see jacket, jacket, copper, all that good stuff. I see some glass. So that's where the lamination must come into right. play. All that powder is so slow. Oh, there's that blood. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's coming out with some pressure. And it looks like it did not redirect as much as we thought. All over the windshield. That's All going like... The oh, it's... Okay. Okay, high speed ready. On you. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> you gotta see the back windows. It's smeared blood all over it. So 308 versus nine millimeter entrance hole. They don't seem all that different. Nope. That one was from the nine mil, I remember. Yeah. And they just kind of crossed over each other. I mean, I think the nine millimeter had a little bit more surface area on the front, like a little bit wider maybe. Let's check out his face. Oh, oh Jesus, dude. What face? Pull his flesh back some. Oh. So where'd you hit him? Like bridge of the nose again? Yeah. And then with his angle, look at. Right over the seat in that back window, there's the exit hole. Oh my. So I bet if I look from the front, I could line up those holes. This is like a ballistics investigation. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. He's not gonna make it. No, he's done. 
Oh! oh. <laughs> it's moving slightly down. Right. I thought for sure it was gonna veer up. Right. So. Yeah, I did too. I think we can conclusively say a windshield will do basically nothing to protect you. Yeah. If anything, it makes it worse because now you've got multiple <laughs> bullet fragments hitting you in multiple places. I would be interested to like have windshields maybe just outside of vehicles and start yeah. tipping them and see at what point does it start doing some, or are bullets just so fast? So cool. Yeah, he's not identifiable. No. He's done. He was a good test subject. Mr. President, Mr. President. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's clean this stuff up and get on out of here. Let's do it. Hope you guys liked that video. I think I've learned a lot about dynamics of glass, especially between the last episode and this one. Yes. And I don't know about you, I expected a lot more deflection. I sure did. Yeah, so let us know. We're thinking about doing a follow-up episode with uh, just maybe multiple different windshields and be able to control the angle, see at what point you do get deflection and uh, what sort of uh, calibers end up making it through at certain angles. Yep. So let us know if you want us to do a deeper dive into that kind of science. Big shout out to Grindhard Ammo. This was their 223 they sent out. That's what we shot in the video. Um, also a huge shout out to Ballistic Dummy Lab. Yep. Always sending out the just the best. The I best mean, stuff to shoot. And if you're into performance engines or derby big shout out to levi bowman he let us borderline destroy his car yeah um, he's going to outfit this one for the derby if you're into that stuff he's got a youtube we'll put it in the link and then he's also over on tiktok if you use that app as professional derby driver so very cool subscribe and we'll see you in the next video yeah oh jesus christ <laughs>